Battle Control initialized. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Red Alert Gaming League Season 9 Minions Round 1. In teal, we have Duke Bones playing as I'm pretty sure that's the Russian flag. And also Radical Centrist, also as Russia. We have a Russia on Russia mirror match here. Radical Centrist in blue. Total of three oil derricks on this map. Let's go to the production tab. Duke Bones ahead by about three seconds. Coming out with an engineer first. Going for his natural oil derrick. Radical centrist out with a dog. And moving towards that center oil derrick. Duke Bones looking like he's going for the War Factory first build. Radical Centrist holding the position of the center Derek. That doggy giving him line of sight. That is a great use of the Soviet tech tree right there in the early game. For the low, low price of 250 you can have line of sight on your enemies. Engineer of Duke Bones taking the long way around. Might just set him up behind Radical Centrist's base. <clears throat> Radical Centrist now with much better map control, much better eyes on the field. Scouts going out in all direction and Moving towards the his natural oil, Derek. He's going to get that one uncontested. Duke Bones coming out with a flak truck. This is definitely going to dislodge the forces of Radical Centrist in the center of the map. We'll see what happens here. Just some kiting. Just some scouting. And a scorched earth policy from Radical Centrist taking out that oil, Derek, of Duke Bones. Killing the doggy, along with a few other riflemen, saving the oil derrick. And Duke Bones is engineer still making his way around the outside of the base. Is this going to be a cheese cap? We might be up for a plate of cheese here, ladies and gentlemen. Overwhelming rifleman force taking out that flak truck and the oil derrick. Radical Centrist now controlling the only two derricks on the field. Duke Bones is NG coming into play to no avail. Duke Bones out with a service depot way ahead of Radical Centrist. Duke Bones producing heavy tanks to counter the light vehicles of Radical Centrist. Heavy tanks really aren't the best for that. Medium tanks are much more effective because they can keep up just a bit more. Uh, that APC, is there anybody in there? Anybody home? Two of those slots are occupied. I don't know who's there. Might be some rocket soldiers. That's usually a good combination. We'll see what he does with them. And an offensive from Duke Bones. Tank leading the charge into a pile of riflemen. They're going to trade really well with the line of sight from the tank. Radical Centrist deploying rocket soldiers into Duke Bones' ore patch. Also camping out the... War Factory, just a bit too late to prevent that MCV from coming out. That was a good try, but just a bit late on the uh, trigger there. 
the engagement in the center distracting Duke Bones just long enough, or rather distracting Radical Centrist just long enough that Duke Bones is able to get his MCV out. And that MCV is going deep. This might be a base push. No, he's just taking the far expansion. Duke Bones taking out one of Radical Centrist's oil derricks. Radical Centrist nine seconds away from his MCV. Duke Bones is going to have better field presence with all these tanks. I wish he would move that tank up, though. He's got a tank and a rocket soldier in the center of the field, and there is a massive infantry force uh, from Radical Centrist. Let's see where they're going. They are taking the long way around. Small contingent. Probably just securing that ore patch. Duke Bones cranking out tanks at this point. He's up to three heavy tanks on the field. Radical Sentry is coming out with his first heavy tank. And moving out his MCV. Negative. Duke Bones moving out his MCV. Radical Centrist deploying his first expansion and... Moving three harvesters over there. That is a big eco slide. But on this map, it looks like it's well worth it. Not a lot of starting resources around the base. Only three ore patches per player. Radical Centrist moving out his MCV. That's his main MCV. And that MCV might get intercepted by the forces up north if it continues in that direction. Blowing a Tesla coil, it's going to hold the line there. But the forces from the north converging. Radical Centrist rotating his forces with the line of sight provided by the structures. He is going to absolutely wipe out Duke Bones' forces. He doesn't have to worry about that MCV going down. Radical Centrist effectively holding the center of the field. Duke Bones moving his expansion MCV very, very far to the northern side of the map. That was a lot of ground to cover. Likewise, he is behind an eco by about 1,100. Radical Centrist saying, yeah, I'll take that. Thanks for the expansion. Now, I like that deployment a little bit better from Radical Centrist. He's going from one location to a close location to another close location, as opposed to Duke Bones, who had to cover the entire map with that MCV, which is not the fastest vehicle in the game, to say the least. Duke Bones idle with his MCV. He's got nothing in the build queue, either. Base push from Radical Centrist. That is some great Tesla coil deployment. Just a Tesla coil and a barracks can lend so much pressure. I think Duke Bones is feeling the pressure here, folks. We got 20 actions per minute tick. Radical Centrist is 50 actions per minute. Duke Bones has gone radar tech and is coming out with an airfield. But I don't think airplanes are going to save him now. Radical Centrist finding a hole in the defenses going after that power plant. Duke Bones with enough power to sustain himself. Duke Bones really needs to eco up at this point. I can't believe that he went uh, all the way over there and didn't deploy a refinery. He's been chased off of that ore, ore patch, too, by Radical Centrist with two Tesla coils there. He's also lost a ore, ore truck in the mix. 
Now down to six harvesters to nine. Radical Centrus with nine harvesters. Duke Bones coming out with an aircraft. He might lose it to the... Oh, that is unfortunate. His first airplane going down in a matter of seconds. His second expansion getting sniffed out. And those dual Tesla coils from Radical Centrus, that is no joke. That's one ore truck down. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Absolutely devastating. All the way back to three harvesters. No oil derricks. Duke Bones rotating his forces to the north just a little bit too late. That tank offensive is... Well, they got their work cut out for them. Sounding the retreat, Radical, for Radical Centrist consolidating his forces. And we have an infantry blob of Duke Bones moving into Radical's main idol at the moment. And only one rocket soldier among them. They're not going to be able to do a whole hell of a lot of damage there. No MCV to be found. He doesn't have build radius, so he can't deploy any kind of uh, structures. But two heavy tanks coming in and immediately crushing out that rocket soldier. The rest of that is Grady. And now a V2 rocket launcher. Two V2 rocket launchers from Radical Centrist firing upon the... Uh, area. And there is... Duke Bones calling it game at 11 minutes and 57 seconds, 417 to 174. Let's go to the Ecograph. Radical Centrist a bit behind, but just making it work and taking out the harvesters of Duke Bones. Uh, you know, that really set him back. Let's take a look at the Army Graph. Wow. Wow. Okay, Radical Centrist with great pressure early on. Uh, great use of the dog, giving him line of sight. You know, that was a really great play. A lot of people go in just with the dog and try to have the dog attack a uh, standing blob of infantry, which very rarely works with one dog. You've got to catch the infantry on the move, and you've got to catch them during a non-attack move. Or, like Radical Centrist used it, Use it in conjunction with a couple of riflemen, giving them line of sight, which is a huge advantage in this game. On to round two. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. Red Alert Gaming League Season 9, Minions, Round 1. Playing as Russia, we have Duke Bones. Playing as Britain now, we have Radical Centrist. Let's go to the production tab. Duke Bones about... Three quarters of a second ahead. Both players essentially dead even in reaction right now. Duke Bones with a slight action per minute advantage, 25 to 17. Duke Bones going War Factory first last game. I don't think Radical Centrist is going to give away his uh, strategy just like that. Duke Bones hitting the stop command on his infantry. And with medics in the field, he is going to have a formidable infantry force. The Soviets just not able to repair their infantry in the field. But of course the trade-off there is that you don't have a dog line of sight. Duke Bones should really utilize that dog. It would help him a lot. Duke Bones may be a bit unsure about his build production. I just saw him cancel his rocket trooper running low on cash. He doesn't want to stall out. Duke Bones going double ref. Radical Centrist also double ref. 
Now starting on his production of his war factory. Radical centrist, in fact, going... Did it go double ref last game? I can't remember now. Oh, well. I have to go back to the videotape. A scout from Radical Centrist. He's going to feel out the enemy force and... Feels like bullets? Yep. Feels like bullets. Another scout. I don't like that using the vetted troop. Uh, he is a little bit more valuable than the rest. Best to send out the rookie. He's just going to sit there on his own. Radical Centrist moving on his main MCV. Looks like he's going to go for a base push. Duke Bones all the way up to three barracks. And boy, that's a lot of troops. Duke Bones also moving out his main MCV. I think he knows what's up. We have a double base push brewing. That ranger is going to provide great line of sight to those riflemen. But he's going to have to watch out. That is a lot of rocket soldiers in that mix. Spotting the MCV of Duke Bones. Not able to do anything about it. Just with a conga line of riflemen coming out of the barracks from Duke Bones. Too bad they're out of position to defend the base. And that ranger going down to rocket fire. This is very interesting. Duke Bones just driving his MCV into the enemy base. He's going to pop a pillbox down him. As soon as he's able. Excuse me, flame tower. And we have the makings of a base trade here. This is very interesting. Radical centrist attempting to eco up coming out with another barracks Duke Bones just sitting on that uh, flame tower that he's got and we have a full positional trade here I've never seen that before both players losing a considerable amount of uh, material both players behind in power. Radical Centrist with a slight cash advantage. Wow. Radical Centrist brewing a war factory. Yes, you did indeed do the same thing. Duke Bones with a slightly more bonkers move, just driving his MCV directly into the enemy base, but hey, it worked. Sizable infantry forces from both. This is all going to come down to line of sight. Radical Centrist with four harvesters to Duke Bones' is three. We have an idle harvester from Duke Bones in the right corner. Excuse me, both players now on four harvesters. Duke Bones with nothing in the build queue. And a War Factory coming out from Radical Centrist. Ranger doing some scouting. It's one massive blob. If he can maintain line of sight, he can absolutely take out this infantry force. 
Let's take a view from Radical Centris' perspective. Much better line of sight, trading well. Trading very well. Duke Bones holding on with the Flame Towers and Flame Trooper combination. Making a break for it with his Ranger Radical Centrist. Distracting the infantry force. And he's looking for a hole in Duke Bones' defenses. Moving out his main MCV again after deploying a service depot both players on five harvesters and just about even in income radical centrist with 58 actions per minute to duke bones is 17. Radical Sentry is doing some great scouting of the enemy base. He knows what's up, but he might lose that... Oh, Ranger getting stuck in the mud. Unable to make an escape. Radical Sentry is out with the first tank of the game. At 8 minutes and 47 seconds, this is a bizarre game. Duke Bones originally starting in the upper right, Radical Centrist originally starting in the lower left. Both players have now completely traded positions. And Duke Bones moving out his main MCV again. Oh, and he is going to run right into that infantry force. No, not like this. Duke Bones losing his only MCV. No way to recoup that. And this has, let's just say the bell has tolled for uh, Duke Bones. Duke Bones still with a sizable infantry force, but without an MCV, he is absolutely dead in the water now. Just not paying attention when he's moving out his MCV. Radical Centrist laying in wait on the other side of that ore patch. Now with a sizable force. Great line of sight provided by the tanks and the ranger. Tanks going in for the crushes. Finding their mark but getting wasted in the process. Fear not, more tanks on the way. Flame towers and flame troopers very ineffective against heavy armor. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Duke Bones calling it game at 10 minutes and 37 seconds. 268 to 128. Let's take a look at the eco graph. Both players all over the place. Duke Bones' is eco reducing to zero at minute six. Radical Centrist able to hold on uh, by using that expansion. Um, and of course the army graph about dead even until minute six when Radical Centrist just starts cranking out troops. That is both games going to Radical Centrist. He is going to be one to watch. Red Alert Gaming League Season 9 Minions Round 1. Battle control terminated.